In California, investigators are trying to determine the cause of a horrific limousine fire that killed a young bride and four of her friends. Today, the shaken limo driver spoke out, saying he wished he could have done more that night, but it all happened so fast. Christina Stevens has more details on how a post-wedding party went so horribly wrong. Cell phone video shows flames shooting from the limousine, where five women died after being trapped inside. Four others barely managed to escape the inferno. The limo driver says as he crossed the San Francisco area bridge, he heard one of the women knocking on the partition saying smoke. At first he thought they wanted to pull over for a cigarette. She said, no, smoke, 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 pull over. And I'm looking and I see the grief on her face. Okay, I can see that. You know, it's actually smoke, and I see the smoke coming through, and I'm panicking, they're panicking, and I finally pull over. He helped four women through the partition, and two motorists tried but couldn't free the others. It was horrific. The car was engulfed, you know, completely engulfed, and I felt that nobody could, could have survived that. You know, the flames were too high. It happened so fast. The woman who shot the cell phone video says she could feel the heat from two lanes away. I was like, oh my gosh, there is one car. Maybe there is people there. And then when we get closer, they, I saw people crying there. The Lincoln Town car was packed with women celebrating a girl's night out with a newlywed bride. The bride, 31-year-old Nariza Fojas, was among the dead. Just recently married, she was planning on traveling to her native Philippines for a ceremony with family. I reach out to the families. I, I really feel for them. I wish that we could have done something different, you know, to save them. The five dead were found huddled near the partition. Two of the four surviving women remain in critical condition. Officials say the vehicle was only licensed for eight passengers and there were nine. The cause of the fire is still under investigation. Christina Stevens, Global News.